Cancer, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. It feels good to be back at home. Um, some of you were able to see me on location, on vacation with my family in the Carolinas. Feels so good to sit back in my seat. All familiar, right? You all like going back to work after vacation? I guess I'm lucky. I just come back to work here in my own home. So thank you for being here with me, Cancer, and happy birthday. Cancer season. Boy, and am I feeling it. I just feel like we hit cancer season and I went from being more cerebral to more emotional on every realm. Like whatever is hitting me, it's hitting me deeper than normal. So I got to hand it to you cancers out there for being able to anchor the emotional energy that you possess. I, I really admire you make it look effortless, I must say. The cancers in my life, I don't know how you do it. I get a taste of it, and I'm like, how do cancers do this? So, thank you. Let's get started. Today we're going to take a look at the end of the month energies. End of June here, before we step off into July, I wanted to get an idea too um, around what the solstice is bringing in. So we're going to do a little solstice guidance now that we're a few days out from that. Thank you for being here. For sharing this space with me. And thank you, Spirit, for presiding over this reading for Cancer today. All right, let's get a Animal Spirit Guide first, and then we're going to pull the tarot. I'm going to take a look at the overall general energy for the end of the month for you, the opportunity, the challenge, and the hidden truth. And then we're going to end with the key oracle. All right, Cancer, what's going on here for you all? What is the spirit animal guide for you? Ooh, raccoon letting go. It's been a bit of a theme for the collective. Being playful and letting go of anything in the way of lightening up the energies. This message has to do with those things to which you cling, be it a thought form, habit, creed, or situation. The, co the time has come for letting go. Something is halting your progress and you are spinning your wheels. Once you embrace change, blessings will follow. All right, so embrace the changes, whatever's going on in your life, all right, Cancer? Let's now go into the tarot. Let's pull a few messages for you all. Mm, yeah, there is a letting go that's needed here because there's some aspect of repression, maybe some obstacles as far as a new beginning. Uh, worries around a new beginning, an inspired new beginning. You could have feel held back to go in a new direction right now. Eight of Swords, Ace of Wands, the desire to go towards something that you want, but feeling like you can't for some reason. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh, death and the Eight of Swords. You might have to end something that you don't want to end. Habit, thought form, situation, letting go. Let's see. Overall general energy spirit. Show me the overall general energy for cancer. What's going on for cancer? Ooh, two of cups. This is about love. Love. I said leave it there. All right, the opportunity is... You know, when I see the five of pentacles, it's really a feeling of abandonment. You know, even even when you're in a connection, sometimes it's the way we abandon ourselves. Other times it's feeling generally an abandonment wound being triggered. There's an opportunity for you to take a look at what in what ways do you feel abandoned, Cancer. Ooh, the challenge is justice, Libra energy. Maybe there's some sort of truth here that you've abandoned in the past. This is interesting. Hidden truth at the bottom of the deck, 10 of wands, five of wands, the strength. You're trying to overcome something, Cancer. It could be something deeply internal around a union or around your beliefs around love. Whenever I see the two of cups, I feel like you wanna go deep today, Cancer. Here we go, Cancer season. Ay, 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 I had just heard um, what is it? Bart Simpson. I caramba. <laughs> oh, man. What is happening here? What is happening here? Let's go deeper. But I am seeing that you're being challenged right now to balance out something going on inside of you around love. 
big time. What you believe about something, that's what it feels like. I'm going to pull some decks that I didn't take with me on vacation because they're nice and fresh. They're like, me, 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 me. Tower and the Hermit. Oh, Lordy. It's like the more you go and you pierce through the veil of your own awareness, the deeper you travel internally, the more you can't deny something. Why am I getting that? It's like you can't deny something anymore going on within you. All right. All right. It's required a hell of a lot of patience. This is like a tower that knows no end. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles in the tower, it's almost like a prolonged feeling of something. Are you trying to repair something that is unrepairable? I don't know. I'm of the belief anything is possible. Let's see. What's going on here, Cancer? Two of Cups. <clears throat> what is this about? Show me spirit. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Queen of Wands. Six of Cups. Four of Wands. Now that's a beautiful energy. I mean, there's some strong passion in this connection and in the 3D reality, a desire to really anchor it. And a deep, deep soul bond, a lot of memories. Like this is somebody that you feel deeply, deeply, deeply for. Why do I get the feeling you're not with this person? Or if you are, there's some struggle here. What's the opportunity here is the five of pentacles. Is what is what is being triggered to make you feel abandoned? Why do you feel, why is the opportunity of feeling, of taking a look at the abandonment? Star. High Priestess and the Knight of Cups. Oh. Some of you, you feel like you have a vision. This is your starlight of hope. I understand this energy. It's as though you've put a lot of effort into what you believe love should feel like, be like, the experience of it. You want it to be secure, stable, grounded. You want it to be pure. You want it to have desire, all those beautiful elements of passion, shared passion, shared union, shared emotional connectivity. And you're, you're calling it in, but there's the opportunity. It's like you feel... It feels like you, you haven't either been able to experience that or it's, it's like you've been... This reminds me of, you know, when you see those people in movies that they're outside of a restaurant and the person that they're trying to get to or the meal is on inside the restaurant and they're on the outside and they can't get in? It's like you're, you're looking at something that you, just, that you want that you feel like you can't have or you haven't been given yet. There's something that is so deep and precious to you that you want to give to and the opportunity, but you're abandoning it or someone is around you. I mean, this is the purest intention of vulnerability, raw truth, harnessing your innermost desires, but feeling like it's impossible This is so interesting to me. I'm, the challenge is justice. Is there something going on that's unfair here? Seven of Swords, the devil, and the world. <sighs> Cancer. I don't know if this is, I feel, why do I feel like this is not really going on in your 3D world, but in your energetic world? Do you have someone that you have been challenged with over and over again and you hold this so dear, but whenever you try to actually have it, it just, ha it wreaks havoc? 
the challenge is removing the fear and the toxicity in a bond that is a very, very precious bond to you, but you've had to abandon it maybe many times. Are you revisiting something? You're showing me here that this is like you you want you want this person to come towards you. It is your wish. You know that there's there's something faded about it. But the opportunity is you're like, "No, I no, I'm not going to not going to take it or I'm not going to have it or I don't want it, but I do want it." You're telling me you don't want it, but you do want it. Because over here, the challenge is karmic justice. And you're looking at, "Okay, well, if I take it, then uh there's something I can't trust about it. It's bringing up all of these fears and this desire to wrap up. It's almost like this feels like the, a very big temptation or a desire for something that is out of reach. This one is stumping me a little bit, y'all, because it feels very deep. This is someone you know. This feels like someone you know. There's a history here of desire and union. But it's something that you've learned that you can't touch. It's like you get burned every time. Oh, it's such a burden. But, oh my God, it's like something that you really want. All right, let's look at the hidden truth here. We have the strength of five of wands. It's like you're in this tug of war. Like, should I? Shouldn't I? We'll be different this time. Uh, yeah. Here's the thing, and I, it was kind of a revelation that I heard recently. I followed her recently, Jenny D D Denovi, she's Swedish. She was talking in a podcast about uh, someone in her past that they had a real strong, like, toxic type of bond. And they were together for five years, and she literally moved to another country because it, it had that much of a hold over, over her that she literally felt that the only way to break the attachment was to leave the country. And, but she said that, and it, I've sat with it, the last couple of days and really thought about that because she challenged my belief system around a toxic bond. A lot of times we point the finger and we say that person's toxic. And she said that it's the dynamic. It's not, you know, we, we make a faulty assumption when we assume that person will be toxic with any person there they will ever be with. It was, it was the karmic bond, right? What had to be exposed, what had to be learned, what had to be revealed. And the challenge here is I do think that this, You've had a similar situation, Cancer, where it taught you many things. It taught you everything around your belief system, around love, around desire, around security, stability, intuition, faith, hope, desire. But the fear. Oof. But I thought that was interesting that it's not toxic people, it's the toxic relationships and you can't blame someone it's you have to if you're not you know we have to take responsibility right you may feel like you're toxic with some people in the relationship versus you might feel completely docile and I kind of understood that because how often do we show up so differently from relationship to relationship if you look back on your romantic history but usually there's that one person that it was like god that was a mess and they just brought out that karma, right? Not because you're being punished. It was what you had to learn, what you had to grow into, right? And this person, Cancer, whoever you're thinking of with this two of cups has been that person for you. What is the hidden truth here? It feels like the door is like cracked open right now. And the universe is like... I think I was also asking questions like, well, can a toxic relationship change if enough time passes and people grow? And I do believe it can because the frequency changes. People change in their energetic vibration. I think it's possible. Actually, one of my clients wrote a book about it, um, about, you know, years passing and having the, having, and revisiting someone. All right, let's see the hidden truth. The Empress the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. You're showing me here that the hidden truth is when it comes to 
overcoming this challenge that you're going through inside? Why do I get the feeling that you two are looking at each other and, and, and evaluating each other? And I, I, why do I get the feeling that you're revisiting something that ended? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, death. Queen of Pentacles, the lovers, and the King of Wands with the fool. I knew it. I feel like something ended in your past. I don't know how long ago it ended. And it damn well should have ended because the challenge was you couldn't balance out the scales. You were not an energetic match. And now I feel like there could be a, what we don't realize is sometimes, sometimes now, this feels like if I ever had a reconciliation reading, it's this one. <laughs> or at least healing that's needed, learning, right? An integration of your previous selves together and where you both are now. Why do I feel like this is like a past person? Yeah, Ten of Swords. This is someone that you had an ending with, that you're contemplating trying again with. I'm getting that. Because this time you're like, well, there's still the attraction, Queen and King of Wands. Maybe you're in a more stable place, Cancer. Maybe you didn't let this person go. What's the advice? You got something resurfacing. I don't know if this is just energetic or really a reality, but it's something that I think you've contemplated long and hard. It's like the person, was it the, the one that got away? We'll call it that. The one that got away. Because this is what it feels like. The one that got away because it just wasn't going to work at that time. And I, I really want to challenge your beliefs around that. Around toxic bonds. We can't blame the other people. Can't. King of Wands, Page of Wands, and the Fool. The Nine of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. Tell you what, I think you're contemplating something you deeply desire, Cancer. Taking a risk. If this has nothing to do with an ex, despite there's, there's some sort of, this could be a new bond coming in that... You know what? We wouldn't have the Seven of Swords and the Devil in the world here. But I'm going to call it like it is. This isn't a new bond. This is someone that you know, Cancer, that you never let go of and they never let go of you. And the energy is still lingering. It's like that. Um, uh, I feel like, they're, they're like there's an opportunity to learn and grow from this. Whew. I think we're going to visit this deeply in July. All right. I'm doing the July reading soon. Now that I'm back home, I feel like I'm just scratching the surface and I apologize, but I do believe that you are contemplating a brand new beginning with someone that you deeply desire, that you really want to grind, gr grind, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> ground this in the 3D world, no longer left to the imagination in the world of fantasy. Could it be? Could it be? Could it be? It's a wish. It's intuitive wish. Something that you had to abandon. Ooh, tree wisdom, embody. This is the key oracle. This is what the solstice is bringing in. Ripple effect, interesting. Intention. What are your intentions, Cancer? Why would you open the door to this? Is there an opportunity to right a wrong or change a toxic tie? The one that got away. manifest interesting this is interesting i don't think i've ever even had a reading quite like this one embody nature can heal when you integrate with the rhythm of the earth trees help to remind you to be more like nature intended get rooted in a support system be flexible branch off in many directions and embrace the seasons of change use the trees as an example of how to live i heard that the other day too that the canopy of a tree is just as big as the root system and that a tree grows in both directions and so i feel like that's very relevant in this it's like you've grown outwardly right in the world but you've also grown in your depth and who you were when you met this person in the past isn't who you are now i feel like there's some sort of revisit over something and a desire to begin anew 
I don't know what that means though. I don't know if it means the two of you are going to be together or if you are reconnecting for a very deep learning, integration around healing. Ripple effect, intention. This was the first one. The intention behind actions is far-reaching and at times very impactful. The frequency of your action is then matched and echoed throughout time. Be mindful of the power behind your thoughts, decisions, and actions at this time. There's some sort of ripple effect once this is initiated. It's like, are you going to be able to put the genie back in the bottle? It feels like there's a deep desire to go towards something that burned you in the past. That cycle is closed out. There's an opportunity. We have two fulls. This feels like a reunion. I thought I had four, but I think there's three. I'm even feeling like, I'm feeling like, whew, I don't know. You might, your head might be spinning around what to do about the situation because it's going to require some courageousness because, oh, I don't know. I, I feel like there's like exercise caution, beware, be careful here. You have the power to turn ordinary into extraordinary. Bring into focus what you want. Then the universe reflects the same vibration. Now let divine timing do the rest. Call on your inner Merlin to access what is available now and from other dimensions and timelines. If this is not a uh, past person returning, this is someone that you're with that you don't, you, you haven't felt quite like it matches what you want and you're trying to get there. In every sense of the word, you're trying to work toward it. You're trying to figure out, like, how, how do I make this feel more nurturing, more cared for, more loving? We challenge each other. So you could be looking at the ways that you can embody and set new intentions and manifest a deeper emotional connection, what you need to do together as a couple to come back together instead of ending it. Because there's something around an ending and being patient instead. So I think there's some people that are dealing with, a, 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 like, more of a toxic type of interaction with someone they love where there's a shared history or you're literally thinking about going back to someone from your past who wants another chance we shall see this feels like a to be determined reading i cannot wait to see what happens for the cancer reading in july but regardless let the trees speak to you for the end of this month, there is a ripple effect on all of your, your decisions right now. You are manifesting a brand new beginning, regardless, with a king of wands. Male or female, this is someone that has a fiery energy, someone that makes you feel alive. It, they, make, they bring out a side of you I, I just heard no one else can. So we'll leave it there. All right, Cancer. Talk soon.